Hi folks, let's take a look at this technology from Google called the Google AI Studio and how you can use it to help teach you things. It's like a personal uh, built-in assistant. It's going to put me out of a job. <laughs> let's see how it works. I'm going to try and use it to walk us through building a pivot table. So we'll come into here and uh, you need to log in to AI Studio with your Google account. And then in the, the dashboard here, the homepage, we'll go to stream real time. And down here, I'm going to select the screen. I'm going to share my screen. I'm going to choose the real estate data and say share. Can you see my spreadsheet okay? okay? Yes, I can see your spreadsheet. It has columns for listing, property type, lead source, representation, and sales price. Can you help me create a pivot table? Sure, I can help you create a pivot table. What data would you like to analyze in it? I want to see the sales price broken down, down by property type. Okay, I understand. You want to see the sales price broken down by property type in a pivot table. Would you also like to see the sum, average, or another calculation of the sales price? Just the, the sum of sales price by property type. Okay, I will create a pivot table that shows the sum of sales price for each property type. I will give you the instructions. First, click on any cell within your data. Then go to the data menu and click on pivot table. Then in the pivot okay, table it's not, editor- it's not in the data menu, pivot table. Is it in one of the other menus? You're right. The pivot table option is not under the data menu. It's actually under the insert menu. Click on insert and you should see pivot table as an option there. Great, I've done that. Great, now that you've created the pivot table, you should see a panel on the side of the screen where you can well, drag on, and I'm drop. At the, uh, I got to a stage where it's giving me this pop-up. Can you see that? And it's, is that right? Do I just hit create here? Yes, that's right. You can now click on create to generate the pivot table. Okay. Okay, now you have the pivot table editor. You should see options to add rows, columns, values, and filters. To get the sum of sales price by property type, add property type to the rows and add sales price to the values. Then how do I do, how make do, sure I do that? You can either click add next to rows and then select property type from the dropdown list, or you can click on the suggested sum of sales price for each property type. Okay, I've added rows. How do I add to the values? To add to the values, you can click on the Add button next to Values and then select Sales Price from the drop-down menu. Then, make sure that the summarization is set to SUM instead of Count or another option. Okay, great. How do I now show it in descending order for the sales price from highest to lowest? Okay, to show it in descending order, click on the drop-down menu for Property Type under Rows. There, you will see an order option, which is currently set to ascending. Change it to descending, and it will sort the sales price from highest to lowest. Okay, that's descending by property type. How do I do descending by sales price? To sort by descending sales price, click on the sort by dropdown menu, which currently says property type, and change it to sum of sales price. This will reorder the table based on the sales price from highest to lowest. Great. Now, if I look back at my data, how could I, could I show it by um, split it between buyer and seller as well? Sure, to see the sales price split between buyer and seller, go back to your pivot table sheet and replace property type in the rows section with representation. But I want, I want to see then, property type and the representation. Is it, can I show you the two, two variables? Yes, to show both property type and representation, you can add representation to the columns section. This will show sales price sums broken down by both of those variables. Nice, thank you very much. You're welcome. Is there anything else I can assist you with today? Not for now, thanks. Okay, have a great day. Wow, and there we go, folks. That was a, the AI studio from Google using Gemini uh, walking through a pivot table with me. And it didn't quite get everything right, as you saw. Uh, it didn't have the pivot table menu in the correct place, so that could be a stumbling block. 
straight off the bat. And I, because I know where it is, I was able to keep the tutorial going. But it's very, very impressive how it managed to help me get pretty much all the way to this pivot table that I wanted to see. And of course, the next stage, the next evolution of this is once it can actually have some agency in my sheet, some control in my sheet, and it could literally do that for me. So I would just be walking through it and it would be building the pivot table in real time for me. So that's probably not too far in the distance future, I would say, given the pace of innovation at the moment. Uh, so yeah, super exciting time to be around, unless you're a an online education instructor like myself. We're trying to figure out what we do to stay relevant. All right, thanks for watching. See you again soon.